I look at his game, and it is so complete, you just get envious of it, don't you? Because it is so good everywhere. Off the tee, iron play, the short game, the mentality. That's well played. Hi. Putting for birdie here. So don't mind the look of this. Dee's making this look easy. And he can win the event here if he can hold this putt. This one looking really... Well, Rich, as the legendary Jim Nance once said, they're now... Yeah, so this week their goal is to beat John Rahm. And he, that is by no means an easy feat. Uh, no, I, if John Rahm is fired up, sparks could fly, you want to be out of the way, and he's just going to go straight through like a Spanish ball. <laughs> yes, he, he's fire and brimstone, isn't he, John Rahm? All the Americans couldn't beat him in a Ryder Cup. This player, well, it's an ambitious rivalry to say the least. Uh, great shot. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. That's just inside the range. And this putt is from birdie three on the scorecard. I want to state the obvious, Rich, but uh, a little too hard, that one. Putting for a par now. Tracking. Uh, looked good for a while, but unable to drop, just inches away. Currently at plus one for the day. OK, let's take it down to John McCarthy, who seems to be hiding behind a tree here. John, you've been getting familiar with this golf course. What will the players be dealing with this week at Lone Grove Golf Course? Well, Luke, as I walk the course, uh, checking it out this morning, the one thing that is immediate is this course is full of elevation changes, not only throughout the holes either. It's like even when you get to the greens, the elevation changes can get you. These greens are dynamic, and that is putting it very lightly. You really have to plan out your approach shots into these greens. Make sure you don't leave yourself in trouble. Some of these greens can straight up reject a poorly executed approach shot just from, from the contours of the green alone. Other times, you may leave yourself on like the wrong shelf of a green, making the next putt nearly impossible. These greens can really play tricks on you here at Lone Grove Golf Course, and I'm looking forward to see how the players deal with it today. That's tidy. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Oh, that's frustrating. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. The putt drops, and we're moving on. We'll now move over to John Rahm. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Ooh, that was close. So after that effort, this is the current standings on the course. There's always a sense of excitement striding onto the tee of a par three hole. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Let's go to John Rahm. 
it's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he do it? This putt just five feet away from the hole. Little birdie look in here. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. And with that lovely play, they're now ahead of their rival. It's getting serious, isn't it? And with that now, back to level par. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Well, Rich, it's only mid-season, but you've got to like the way the player has been performing so far. Yeah, look, this player has played so solid all year long. It's well within the top 125. I don't see any issues of this player not making it to the Tour Championship. I'd safe to say they're going to go ahead and move on. Getting ready to play their third. Just a couple back from our leader. was going in and this part to move into a tie for fourth place Ooh, nice putt to make for a birdie and that puts him into the top five for the tournament Billy Horschel is atop the leaderboard with a one-stroke advantage let's see what happens here at the fifth This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Henny, what's the player facing here? He's got roughly 105 yards here. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. All right, we're going with an extra club here. Big time play that one, Beamer. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. John Rahm getting ready for his next shot. Didn't that look good for a long time? Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. Former FedEx Cup champ Billy Horschel has the lead in this one. Here at Lone Grove Golf Course, the sixth hole is a par four measuring a decent 465 yards, Rich, all the way back there at the tips. Yeah, no bunkers on this tee shot. Plenty of room to hit it both right and left, but if you miss it wide one direction or another, you're going to find all kinds of troubles with those tall trees. Just that one bunker that fronts the left-hand side of the green here. Again, though, a lot of runoff areas around this green makes that second shot so much more difficult to get it close. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Only one shot off the pace. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. A wonderful shot, well played, a chance for Birdie here at the sixth. Just six feet between here and the hole. You can mark it down, that's Birdie number four today. And with that, we'll move to three under par. He finds himself in a share of the lead. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing.
well struck. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Setting up this putt 22 feet from the cut. Oh, just missed. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. And this putt coming up for his par. Let's take a look at Colin Morikawa. Big time play that one at the right time too. That'll help make a big move. We've reached the eighth hole. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. Lining up from around 160 yards. He shares top spot. Really controlled the flight there nicely with that wind. Here's John Rahm. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Great touch. Just three feet to the cup. This is what they have left for birdie here. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And that will take him to four under. He sits in first position. Now a par five hole awaits. Already in the lead, looking to extend that. Could not be more perfect. The great Severano Ballesteros, inspired an entire generation of European golfers, particularly his own Spanish golfers, and I feel that we might even have the best Spanish golfer of all time in John Ramridge. I absolutely agree with that. I, I believe in the game right now, Luke, that if there's one player that all others are fearful of when they get on top of the leaderboard, I think John Rahm's name would be number one because he seemingly has zero weaknesses. I can't find a single one. I look at his game and it is so complete, you just get envious of it, don't you? Because it is so good everywhere. Off the tee, iron play, the short game, the mentality, the vision, the imagination. He's got every single tool that you could possibly want in this game. He is by far, I believe, the most complete player in our game today. Yeah, it certainly feels like we're in the John Rahm era right now. Well, this is where the knees start to knock. The sweat starts to appear on the palms of your hands, Rich. Just a slender lead with nine to play. Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. they got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. Well, that was pure. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Going with the five iron here. John Rahm watched that one all the way. Great approach shot. This player is definitely upping the pressure in this rivalry. Oh, good look at a birdie here. Like the look of this one. We'll now move over to John Rahm.
He's currently in fifth place. Let's catch up with John Rahm. Going with the pitching wedge here. Should find the green here. Oh, right by the hole. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the 10th. It's time to check on the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Time to tee off on the 11th. Yeah, that one's looking good. Great ball striking. It's a thing of beauty. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. And that's eight birdies today. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Let's go to John Rahm. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. 12 hole here at Lone Grove Golf Club, 543 yards, par five. Again, no bunkers off the tee shot here, Luke, though, but anything missing out to the right or even far left, you're just gonna have all kinds of problems. Second shot down the hill to a green that's surrounded by water in the front, bunkers both left and right. I love this golf course, I love the beauty of it, but I gotta say, it is a really difficult course. The great Severano Ballesteros inspired an entire generation of European golfers, particularly his own Spanish golfers, and I feel that we might even have the best Spanish golfer of all time in John Ramridge. I absolutely agree with that. I, I believe in the game right now, Luke, that if there's one player that all others are fearful of when they get on top of the leaderboard, I think John Rahm's name would be number one because he seemingly has zero weaknesses. I can't find a single one. I look at his game and it is so complete, you just get envious of it, don't you? Because it is so good everywhere. Off the tee, iron play, the short game, the mentality, the vision, the imagination. He's got every single tool that you could possibly want in this game. He is by far, I believe, the most complete player in our game today. Yeah, it certainly feels like we're in the John Rahm era right now. around 140 yards here. That's well played. Pin high. Putting for birdie here. I don't mind the look of this. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard. After that, this hole is a long par five. Yeah, that one will play. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Yeah. 
That was wonderfully done. We'll now move over to John Rahm. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? That was special. Let's return to live play now. And here we are with the third shot. Trying to get to 11 under with this putt. Looking for another birdie here. Ooh, right by the hole. Okay, let's head to the next. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. Going and going and going. From about 200 yards out. within their comfort zone there. Let's go to John Rahm. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Wow, that almost went in the hole. And 11 under in front of the player with this putt. Ouch, that hurts. This putt right on 10 feet, a good one to make. Be the ball, Danny. No, 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 no. Didn't quite judge the speed on that one. And this one is for bogey. Oh, what a stroke. Now at minus nine for the day. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. A tidy looking shot, that one. Oh, well played. Into birdie range here at the 16th. And a fantastic look upcoming. Oh, that had eyes for it. Lovely shot. We'll now move over to John Rahm. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, what a ripper from long range. Oh, this one out of a smelly spot on the golf course, but no bother for this player. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Huge tee shot there, Luke. What a display of power.
Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Butting for birdie. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. Gets that one to go down, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Leading by six strokes after that one. And Rich, after the first 17, have tested the player. They find themselves on yet one more examination with this last hole. I love this hole because if you're leading and have a chance to win, this is the tee shot you want. There's all kinds of room out there to the right-hand side. Tee it high and let it fly. Give yourself the best opportunity to go into this elevated green with a short iron to make it as easy as possible on you. And it's much easier said than done, Luke, as you and I both well know. And Henny, what's he looking at here? They're setting up this next shot into quite an elevated green, Luke. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Quality shot, that one. And he can win the event here if he can hold this part. This one looking really... Well, Rich, as the legendary Jim Nance once said, they're now rich and famous. I got to say, that was an incredible statement by the great man and bestowed upon a great player. And this player will be thrilled to become rich and famous. Rich, this is something you can understand. This player now a major champion. Luke, life-changing indeed, I have to say. I'm thrilled for this player as I know what is in store for them. It's a life-changing moment. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.